Everybody knows that I adhere to a Spartan lifestyle. Sure, sure even, you do. Even though that today it was very hot and humid, I think that the sun just took it out of me. Oh, the I'm tough tired. guy couldn't handle it. That's no, what he's trying I'm, to I'm, say. I'm, okay, I'm, sure. I'm flesh and blood yeah. like everybody mm -hmm. else, you know. I'm just mm -hmm. telling everybody he can have any. Thank you. you for your honesty. We appreciate it. Oh, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes, very important to make sure that <laughs> it's you're. A tough sell to yeah, uh. yeah, important to make sure that you are staying hydrated when you're outside. Well, I think I will. You're giving yourself plenty of shade. He did bring his water. There so. you go. Way to go. Oh. And I brought my water. Oh, I gentleman. always do, though. Thank you, Neil. You know. Great. There you go. Hey, Marcus, do you have your water? Yeah, yeah, it's over, over there, there in the weather center. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's over there. Been drinking a lot of it today for sure. We're going to need to continue to drink that water over the next few days. Look at this afternoon's high temperatures. It certainly was a very warm day today. Had a couple of spots to get right around 100. Even above that, Linden at 100 this afternoon. Sold for Springs to 101 today. 98 Tyler and Longview, 97. Mineola and Gilmer. However, the site in Gilmer did read about 102 from a bit earlier this afternoon. So essentially more and more locations are reaching that century mark. 95 center this afternoon, 97 in Crockett. The heat index at times above 105 into the afternoon hours. Right now, still holding on to the mid 80s and lower 80s. Nobody into the 70s just yet. It'll be a slow drop down into the upper 70s as we get into tomorrow morning. Now, the upper high is going to continue to build in over the coming days and it will get the strongest as we move into the weekend. Here's a look at that forecast. There's the high starting to work its way to be centered across East Texas as we get into Saturday and especially moving into Sunday and Monday. That's where we'll really notice the hotter temperatures to come our way and we're looking at rain chances that are essentially going to be zero. So over the next few days, we're going to be more concerned perhaps about of a drought situation that could occur. Thankfully, no burn bans in effect right now here in East Texas, but something we have to watch looking long range beyond seven to 10 days really doesn't look to show much in the way of precipitation coming our way, at least just yet. Of course, that can always change, but looking long term, it does look like the heat high is going to stay in firm control. That means upper 90s and around 100 into the day tomorrow. The heat index tomorrow afternoon will continue with that heat advisory up to about 105 some areas as high as about 108 into the afternoon. So very important to make sure that you are taking those frequent breaks when you are outside. Water the best friend. Yes, having some of those electrolyte drinks are great too. They help also, but water will be your best friend for this. 99 to around 100 as we conclude the week. High temperatures into uh, the lower 100s as we go through the weekend. Maybe a couple of spots so I think we'll reach between 101 and 103 Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, the overnight lows continue to stay into the upper 70s and lower 80s. Here's deep East Texas. The rain chances for you are next to none. <laughs> Temperatures are on the rise as we get to around 100. I think the best thing to say is that if you have to do things outdoors, if at all possible, start early or do it late in the day. That will be your best friend to help avoid that heat exhaustion. Oh, yes, because as Neil can contest, even the strongest of Spartans need to hydrate on Absolutely. a regular basis. Okay. Thank you, Marcus. Speaking of that. <laughs>